you've probably noticed that we're very enthusiastic, almost obsessed with the barking dog experiment. This is the reaction of carbon disulfide, CS2, with N2O, nitrous oxide, makes sulfur and CO2. We've done it in tubes of different size. <laughs> Most recently, a really long tube, <laughs> nearly 10 feet long. While we were doing the more recent experiments, I thought it'd be really fun to do it in a YouTube. For one reason, I wasn't quite sure what would happen. Would the flame go round? And also, I have to admit, the idea of a YouTube on YouTube was quite fun. So the first thing was to persuade Neil that we could actually make a YouTube because bending fat glass tube is very difficult. And in fact, he assembled it from pieces glued together. We thought once we got it, it would all be quite easy, but we had quite a few unsuccessful attempts. The first one, we had water in the tube and the flame went down to the water and stopped. Even though there was a big gap above the water in the horizontal part of the U-tube. Why was there water in the tube? Because we traditionally use water to slosh around to help mix the carbon disulfide and the N2O. We then tried an experiment without water and the flame almost started going around the bend and didn't. But then when we lit the other arm, the one that hadn't gone off, it did go around the bend, but it couldn't go any further because we'd burnt all the fuel on the other side. So you have to realize this was spread over several weeks because each time Neil had to spend perhaps an hour or more cleaning the YouTube. We only had one. And then yesterday we tried it again, didn't work. So Neil scrubbed the thing and left it full of mixture overnight to try and get as good a mixing as possible. This morning we were all sitting there arguing, is it going to work, isn't it? I think it's going to work. You think it's going to work? Yeah. That's a bold call. <coughs> I think it's not going to work. I wasn't quite sure, but we lit it <laughs> and it worked really well. But like all experiments, it turned out to be more exciting than we thought. The flame went down the first arm with a satisfying whoosh, the bark. And then the flame continued silently and rather slower around the bend and then did a second inverted bark going upwards. And interestingly, the second arm appeared much more yellow. Perhaps because the sulphur was deposited in a slightly different way. So it was really nice. I think it demonstrated very well how the flame accelerates down the tube to produce the bark. And then if you slow it down, it becomes silent. But then when it has a chance to accelerate up again, out comes the noise. But of course, like every experiment, we think of lots more to do. Upside down YouTube, horizontal YouTube, and the real problem is persuading Neil that any of this is scientifically worthwhile. It can be drawn out, it could be woof, or sometimes it goes much quicker. Not very much carbon disulfide, so the mixture was rich in oxidant. So the reaction always had enough N2O to go as fast as it could. 